Welcome to a new episode of my USB tutorials. Today I will show you how to access a USB in and point type bug transfer from your host PC by using a simple C program. And what I want to do basically is here you can see um, this is the USB device I will be using. This is a Mega32U for microcontroller for which I have written a specific firmware so it will act as a USB GPIO expander. And to this USB GPIO expander I have connected one LED and one push button. The LED is connected to GPIO pin 1, the push button to GPIO pin 2. And what I will do today is I will write a small program to read in the button's state here. Okay, and for doing so, let me first cd into my USB tutorials folder. And here I have a folder called to user space apps. Here we have the source in Python and in C. I will go with C today. And here we see we have already an example for bulk transfers and for control transfers. Yes, and let me copy this example here. And I will create a new file I will call bulk. Oh, this was a little bit too much. Bulk in transfer, and this will be the source file for today's video. So let me open it up here. So, very important is here I've included libusb 1.0 libusb because I will use the functionality of libusb to access my device here. Here I have a buffer and a transferred variable which I will need later. Here we are initializing the USB library. Here we are opening up our test device. This is the product and this is the oh this is the vendor and this is the product ID. And maybe before I start, let's take a look at the USB device. So we want to access this Atmel Corporation test device down here. And if I take a closer look to its properties, we can see we have uh, M.1 with, with the direction out and the transfer type bulk. Over this endpoint, we can set the GPIO direction and the output value of the GPIOs. And we have a second endpoint, M.2, from direction in and transfer type bulk as well, 8 bytes in size. And over this endpoint, we can read in the GPIO's state. And by default on PowerUp, all GPIOs are configured as inputs, so we don't have to set anything up for our push button here. Okay, so here we are opening up the device, and down here we will do our first transfer. Okay, first we are um, clearing um, all the 8 bytes in our buffer variable with 0, and yes, let's. And then let's do the transfer. So we want to write to the endpoint number two. And because it's an in endpoint, we have to um, set the seventh bit here. We want to um, so we want to read in the well, or we want to store the return data in this buffer variable here. So the a number of bytes we want to transfer is 8 and here in this transfer variable we are saving the number of saved bytes and the timeout here is 100 in this example. Okay, then we are print out um, the um, number of bytes transferred and the return value of this function so in case anything went wrong and then let's do or let's print f if the button is pressed or not. So button is pressed. So and let's say buffer if buffer zero or buffer one is equals to one, then I will just print out nothing because the button is pressed. And if not, I will yeah print out a not here so the message will the button is not pressed. Okay, so that's for the program. Let me try to compile it. So uh, my input file is bulk in transfer. I will use the libusb 1.0 for compiling and my output file should be bulk 
in transfer. Okay, so this worked. And now let me execute the program. So I have to give it my password. Okay, so the button is not pressed and the status was zero. So the transfer was successful and the number of transfer byte is eight. Now let me press the button and execute it again. And now I get the message, the button is pressed. Yeah, so it's working just fine. Okay, cool. So that's how to access a USB um, in endpoint type bug transfer from a simple C program by using libusb1.0. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash you for Linux or send me a small tip over PayPal. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.